Good afternoon and welcome to this week's More Guitars Weekly Workshop Video Diary thing. Um, this has been a, uh, a, a brilliant but really busy week. Uh, we shipped off a few guitars, we had a few clients come visit and uh, some kind of guests to the shop to, to play some guitars. So we have not really had the, uh, our, our teeth deep into any, any big builds, but we've had a, a couple of things going on. Um, we, by the time this video airs, um, this guitar, sh I'm waiting for a case. I ordered a case a while ago, it wasn't in stock. It should be here now, but it's, it's not. But I thought I would show this guitar off before I ship it. This is um, a, uh, as of yet unnamed, if you have an idea for the name, put it in the comments. I'm just calling it the Mark II right now, because it's, it's kind of like a Mark II offset guitar. Um, this is going to a really special, everyone's special. This is going to a, uh, a, an amazing guitarist, a Charlie Hunter. And it's, um, he's getting the first one, and it's, uh, it's kind of based, like if my Wayfair and my Offset had a, uh, had a baby, it's kind of that. So it's, it's, it's a much larger kind of box than the Offset. Um, still not quite as large as a Wayfair, but it's, uh, so acoustically it's got a bit more going on. Um, um, than a standard Offset. Um, but it's just kind of, I kind of love it. It's uh, it, some like some builds just go well, and this is one of the ones where things just kind of fall really nice into place. It's a uh, roasted walnut body, roasted walnut neck. Kind of a um, I don't really have a tone for this yet, but like a, like a like a luthier's cut uh, fretboard, like a fretboard that I've been keeping aside for a for a special build of, of Wenge, and then a matching um, <laughs> Wenge uh, backplate on the headstock which I think is quite cool. Um, and then also a, a Wenge a cavity cover, which I do. Sometimes I run out of cavity cover material, which is essentially just cheese of plastic. When that happens, I make one out of wood to save myself from having to wait to receive more plastic in the mail. But um, it's fantastic. Two P90s and a, a piezo circuit inside. Um, seems to be kind of a, a trend at the moment for these, uh, me putting these piezo circuits kind of on blend in uh, the guitars, and they're fantastic for adding um, kind of definition to so the high end on uh, a the guitar. They don't sound particularly good on their own, um, but they're not uh, really meant to be used. and it sounds kind of horrible but if you blend it in especially with like kind of slightly kind of muddy sounding neck P90 and what your hands are doing are really coming through nicely. And that's without the piezo. So really... Really adds a lot. This is um, yeah, a lovely guitar going to a really fantastic player. Very exciting uh, uh, to imagine um, you know, where this will be played and uh, and, and who will be played with. But it's uh, very light as well. I think it's like 2.8 kilos. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's uh, it's, it's it's under three kilos. Uh, maybe you see uh, my shot. It might be a little bit dusty. I've been doing a lot of sanding in the workshop this past few days. So it might be a little bit dusty, but it's a lovely thing. All access, you know, really all access. 
And it's fun. Uh, the neck joint starts actually around the 12th fret and goes all the way up to the 22nd. And uh, so it's, yeah, it's a, uh, this is a great one. I, I really like this guitar. And uh, hopefully it'll be gone by the time this is uploaded because the case has arrived from the company that's shipping the case. Anyway, and the other one we've been working on this week is um, a very cool guitar, a uh, all mahogany 12 string Wayfair. Um, I'm undecided on the neck pickup. I want to get a, a humbucker in the um, in the bridge, obviously. I have all the hardware. It's had its first soap coat. I have a, a cavity on the top for sound projection to the player. Um, <laughs> to play a D. But it's uh, it's going to be great. It's very very light as well. Uh, this is not roasted mahogany. Uh, it's raw and. Uh, yeah, I'm very excited about this one. I think it's going to be really fun. I'm going to reshape uh, this a little bit more, make it a little bit more kind of deliberate looking, and uh, tidy it up, sand it, and everything. It's just had its first coat of oil. Um, you can see I've not, not even sanded it down from that yet. But this has been where most of our energy has been going on this week, uh, doing the uh, you know, carving and sanding and oiling and fretting and, and so on and so forth. Um, and this actually is a stock guitar, so this is going to be available for sale. I, I wanted a 12 string after playing the baritone eight string. I thought it'd be fun to make a 12. So this has been um, happening kind of in the background for a little while, but it's uh, we'll have a stock 12 string for sale, maybe by Christmas. Um, if you're interested, write me and I will sort it out. But this week, yeah, these two things here, lots of visits and uh, shipping some guitars and uh, it's been a good one. But uh, thank you for watching. If you have watched this, I guess you've watched it because you're hearing me say that. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, please, you know, like and uh, it and comment on it if you have any questions for next week, anything you want me to cover. Uh, I'm still kind of finding my feet in this uh, in this thing, but the people that watch this really seem to appreciate that I make them and uh, I get a ton of positive feedback, but I'm also learning. Uh, yeah, anyway, subscribe if you haven't already, like it, comment a question if you have any question you want me to answer next time, and uh, I hope you had a fantastic week and Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.